All right, let's get ready to do some footwork. So have a seat at the front of your chair, heels together and toes apart on the balls of the feet and begin to press the pedal down and up with control about 10 times. Arms are in genie arms. And again, that's heels together and toes apart. After 10, simply hold the pedal down. Step to your arches with feet and knees together and do 10 there as well. Keeping a sense of lift in the navel, shoulders over the hips the entire time, and step to your heels, feet flexed. A steady rhythmic tempo is good. Feet and knees are together. And then hold the pedal down. Let's go heels together and toes apart. Keep the pedal quiet as you lower and lift the heels. Place your hands on your thighs to give you some sense of stability if you need it. Otherwise, arms are in genie arms. And again, 10 times is plenty. Five to 10 reps is good. And then transition to hovering one leg off. Five to 10 repetitions on the ball of the foot. Switch sides. If one side feels a little stronger than the other, Go to the less strong side and do one more repetition or one more set as you pause the video. Now I'll set up for the table. Have a seat again at the front of your chair. Balls of the feet, heels together and toes apart or parallel. Hands go to the back corners of the chair. Hold the pedal up, hover, hover it slightly in the springs. Lift your hips up so they come over the feet. Keep the pedal quiet and lower the hips with control. This is a preparation. Try this a couple times. The springs are active. The pedal is hovering. Hold the pedal quiet. And then for a challenge, try pumping the pedal in and out eight to 10 times. Keep the hips lifted. Pull in, pull in, pull in. And after your reps, have a seat with control. Let's set up for soleus press. So you need a sticky pad or some kind of cushion to place under the knee. Place this pad on the right side of the seat, just slightly off the edge. Step the pedal down enough so that you can place just under the kneecap at the edge of the chair on the pad. You're on the ball of the foot. The work here is just to point and flex. Point, flex, simple. Make sure your chest is lifted, your knee is stable, and your back leg is straight with the heel grounded. Gaze forward on the horizon. 10 times, and then switch sides. Again, the pad goes on the edge of the chair, just under the knee where it meets the shin, rests. Stabilize that knee with your hands, and then point and flex. This is slow and rhythmic, evenly pointing, evenly flexing, working the deep soleus muscle. Make sure your breath is just calm and relaxed with a sense of lift in your center. Just place a sticky pad to the side. And we'll get ready for pull-ups. Press the pedal down. Heels together and toes apart on the balls of the feet. Hands are in the back corners of your chair. Shift your weight slightly forward, lift your center, and resist the pedal up, and then resist down. Think of navel to spine, stretching your legs, squeezing the thighs, scooping the belly to float the pedal up. Five to eight times, working the resistance back into gravity. Step onto your heels with your feet slightly apart for a variation. Toes are up. Lift the pedal up halfway and then pump the pedal toward the seat. Eight to ten times. And then turn sideways. So your outside leg is on the step and your inside leg ankle is crossed to the front. Knee toward the seat. Hands are now in the other corners of the chair as you see here and we're lifting and lowering the pedal slow and controlled. Keep your hips square toward the side of the chair. 
A variation here, switch feet. The inside foot steps to the back of the pedal. The outside leg crosses the ankle. Lift the pedal up, stretch your outside leg out, and pump the pedal up five times. Lower with control and switch sides. We'll turn the chair here so you get a better view. Again, the setup is lower the pedal, turn into the chair, the outside leg steps to the back of the pedal, inside leg crosses at the front. Hip square to the shoulder, shoulder square to the edge of the seat. Lifting and lowering the pedal with control. Make sure the inside knee stays bent toward the chair, scooping the waist up. Outside leg stays straight. And then a variation, switch feet. Inside leg steps back, outside leg crosses, lift the pedal up, extend the outside leg out, foot flexed, and pump the pedal up. Inside leg stays straight. Stretch into it. Five pumps. Lower the pedal with control, turn to the chair, and step off with control. Now we go from two springs to one middle spring. For the spine stretch forward, here because we have a higher one to chair, we'll grab a pad to sit to elevate our hips slightly and also to offer some cushion. So you'll sit about an arm's distance in front of the chair, straddle the chair so your legs come in contact with it. Make sure you're close enough that your hands can drape over the black paddle easily. Draw the shoulder blades to the back, press the spring slightly down, chin to chest. The work is in and up in the abdominals and the legs hug the chair very gently as if you're hugging a horse. Again, shoulder blades pull back, pressing slightly down, navel goes up and in, chin to chest. Do a few. Think of levitating from your hips. It's a small but deep action. Take your time with this. Inhale to lift the pedal, exhale to press it. And then for the stretch, place your feet on top of the chair. You might need to elevate your hips a little bit more for this. Hold onto the frame of the chair. Keep your knees soft. Pull your chest to your knees and then bow to your toes. Three to five times is good. Inhale, lift, exhale to bow. And transition right into your teaser. So feet stay on top of the chair, hands go over the pedal like you did for the, the spine stretch forward. As you press the shoulder blades back, engage the pedal, lift your feet. Hold for two, for three, and then lower the feet. Do this twice more. Press the pedal to lift the feet and then lower with control. One more time, adding a variation of pumping the pedal down for five. Lower the feet. Start all the chair to dismount. And we'll move into our next exercise. into the swan. Press the pedal down and then bring your shoulders over your hands. And we pump the pedal in three times. I'm sorry, one time. <laughs> Lifting the pedal up with control. Pump the pedal in once. Push, lift the center and lift the pedal. And notice the legs lower slightly behind you as you come up into extension. It's a steady action. And then lift the pedal a little. little. Bend your elbows to the pedal. And as you lift up, lift the pedal, bend and hover, extend and lift, swan dive, and lift, bend, hover, extend, lift. On your last one, you can lift all the way up and slide off, step off the back of the chair. And to reverse swan. Bring your hands to the pedal facing the back of the chair. Sit very much at the edge and bring your legs to diamond legs. We prepare rolling the pelvis back to press the pedal down, resisting the pedal up to lift the spine. 
Again, you're not really trying to press the pedal down so much as roll the hips down and resist. Extend the legs out for a challenge. Adding on, lower the legs a little, push the pedal and lift everything up. Lower the legs and push the pedal, lift everything up. Add a challenge of lowering and then bending and straightening the elbows five times. To dismount, try to lift up and come into your teaser pose. To lower the feet and step off. We'll set up for the twist prep. Place the center of your hip on the center of the chair facing one direction. Feet are flexed and together. Press the pedal all the way down, top arms to the ceiling. Press the pedal into the floor and lift up from your waist, your ribs, and your armpit. This is not a side setup, this is in a neutral position. Lift the pedal all the way up, turn to the pedal, put your hands on the seat on the pedal. Split your legs. The top leg goes back and down. Now here, lower the pedal halfway and lift. Lower the pedal deep in your center, stretch that back leg out and lift. Work the split, work the center, and then come all the way up, come back to your twist prep, and then come up and switch sides. Again, center of the hip, press the pedal all the way down, make sure you feel evenly weighted on the pedal. Flex your feet and extend the top arm. Again, press the pedal down, and that lifts you up. Think waist, ribs, armpit. Push through your heels to get more stretch out of it. Five to eight is plenty. On the top of the last one, turn to the pedal, both hands on the pedal. Split the legs so the top leg goes back and down. Lower the pedal and lift. Lower the pedal, stretch the back leg low and long, and lift, scoop the center and press and stretch and lift. Work the split, work a deepening of the center. Not too low with the pedal, it's about up. Come back to your twist prep position, lift up and step off carefully. And we go into the big twist. Sit on the back corner of the chair with half of your pelvis. Put the hand on the pedal in the center and extend your legs up like a teaser inside leg crossed on top of the outside leg. Lift your outside arm up and then press the pedal down as you bring the legs to the front corner of the chair and the body to the back corner. Hold the position or variation is rounding to the floor, opening to the ceiling and resisting it. Again, press the pedal down, the body goes on the diagonal, legs to the front, body to the back. Either hold or round forward, round back a little, come back to center, push into the pedal and lift yourself back up to your boomerang position. One more time, lift, press, breathe, lengthen the legs. As you come up, lift, and then step down to switch signs. for a better view here, we'll turn the chair. The pelvis is on the back corner, half the pelvis seated. Hand to the pedal and extend the legs up. Inside leg crossed on the top of the outside leg. Arm comes up, press the pedal down, your body comes to a diagonal. Round the spine down, open the spine up, come back to neutral, press the pedal, squeeze the legs and peel yourself up to your teaser position. Press it down, take your time, land. Legs to the front corner, body to the back corner. Hug the core, hug the center line, and resist the pedal up. Here's your boomerang. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, press. And rotate, rotate. Take a breath in, exhale, lift the pedal. And inhale, and step down. Good job.
into the push down. Stand behind the chair, but a foot's distance. Arms come up, roll down to the chair, press the pedal all the way down. Lean slightly forward, but keep weight in your heels, and pump the pedal three times. Extend the arms, roll the pedal up halfway, and press it back down. Pump one, pump two, pump three, press the pedal, lift the waist, and resist the springs up. Keep that going. Three to five reps is good. Keep challenging the work by leaning the weight into the pedal, but pressing down through your heels. And then roll it up, close the pedal with control, arms come overhead, standing tall. Circle the arms down by your side. And we'll set up for our next exercise for Kneeling Mermaid. Again, grab the padding you had and place it so it cuts the pedal of the chair in half. And with control, come kneeling onto your pad. Stand about an arm's distance so you can drape your hand over the pedal and the outside arm goes up. Press the pedal down slightly. Put weight in the outside knee, push the pedal a little deeper, a little deeper, tail forward a little deeper, resist the pedal back up, almost closed. Weight in the outside knee as you press, and deepen, and deepen, lengthen, and then resist back up. Stretch through the right arm, press through that left arm, create opposition. And back up. On the third one, you can close the pedal completely. Cross the arms, tuck your toes under, and come up with control to standing. Walk around to the other side, cross your arms, lift your center, and come to kneeling. Drape the hand over the pedal, outside arm comes up by the ear. Again, begin by putting weight in the outside knee. Press the pedal slightly down. Lift your center and press, and press, and deepen. Resist the pedal up. Lengthen through the left arm, push with the right arm. Tail stays forward, outside leg stays weighted. Kneeling mermaid. Again, three is good. Press, resist, press and lengthen, resist back up, close the pedal, cross your arms one more time, tuck your toes and come up to standing with control. Move your padding out of the way, and I'll set up for the next exercise. Push-ups one. Stand so that your pinky toe lines up with the frame of the chair. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, roll down. So the outside hand to the floor, inside hand to the pedal, step back to a plank. Push the pedal down and then square your body up so you're in good alignment. Press the pedal down four times, keeping your body quiet. And then slow it down. Press hold, resist it up. Press hold, resist up four times like this, keeping the shoulders and hips square. Head stays in neutral. On your last one, lift the pedal, step in, roll up to standing, and switch sides. Same beginning. Stand so your pinky toe is in line with the frame of the chair. Arms come up, lengthen, roll down to your pedal. Step into your plank first, and begin to line your body up as you push the pedal down. Get nice and square. And then pump the pedal four times for the challenge, keeping your center neutral and strong. And then slow it down. Hold the pedal. Resist the pedal. Hold the pedal. Resist the pedal. Four times like this. Feeling that work in your center line. On the last one, lift the pedal. Step in and roll yourself up to standing. Great job. Push-ups two. Stand so you line up with the padding of the seat. Lift your arms. Place your left hand on the center of the seat. Right hand on the pedal. Step back to a high plank, high heels. And then lower the pedal. Bend the left elbow. Resist it up. Bend the left elbow. Lower the pedal. Resist it up. Center strong. Hugging the center line. Five to eight times is plenty. And step in. Roll up and switch sides. Again, now the right hand goes to the center of the seat, left hand to the pedal, step back on the high diagonal, high heels. Heels squeeze together, 
hips come forward, resist it, bend the elbow. Pedal arm stays nice and straight. Again, three to five to eight times is good. Step in and roll it up. We'll add on a spring. We'll pre prepare for going up front. A top and a bottom spring here. You can place your hands on the seat to press the pedal down or simply press the pedal down. Step on to the pedal. And then the right foot comes up to the back of the chair in line with the hip. Back heel is lifted. Lean your body forward and lift the pedal up. Resist it down. Halfway down or three quarters of the way down. All the way up to the top. Back leg stays straight. Knee stays over the middle of the foot or even the toes. Five to eight repetitions. The hip stays square and level. Simply step and switch legs. Take a moment to get the foot lined up with the hip. Back heel is lifted and we're going up on the high diagonal, resisting it down. Again, the knee arriving over the front of the foot. Hip stays square and level. After five to eight, step down. We'll set up for a mountain climber. Step the right foot back. Place the hands around the knee, lift the center around the spine, and vigorously bend and straighten the leg. This is a brisk tempo, 10 to 12 pops. Keep your center lifted off your thigh. Keep pressing your hands into your knee to stabilize it, and switch legs. Lift your center, round your spine, and pump the pedal vigorously. Use the pedal to give the front leg support. Push into the knee to stabilize the thigh. Pump 10 to 12 times. And then carefully dismount. Or, for an easier transition, pivot for going upside. Outside leg is at the back of the pedal. Inside leg is on the front corner of the chair at 45 degrees. Inside hand to the thigh. Shift your body weight into the chair and float the pedal up. Heel to heel. Resist it down. Keep the hand on the thigh for stability with the outside arm straight or bring the inside arm in front of you. Work the springs up, up, resist, and heel to heel and resist. Again, five to eight is plenty. And then simply lower the pedal all the way with control, turn to the chair and pivot to the other side. Again, outside heels to the back. Inside foot is to the front corner of the chair at 45 degrees. Square the hips up, level the hips up. Outside arm is straight. Adjust your foot so you feel stable. And squeeze up, heel to heel, resist it back down. Make sure the sits bones stay level. For added challenge, simply bring the inside arm in front of you. Keep the outside leg straight and the heel is down. Five to eight reps, turn to the chair to square up. Step to the floor, lift the pedal up with one foot with control, and then step off. Great job on your intermediate level chair workout.